read the biggest problem. Uh, it says that Tommy produces a deferred interest rate swap with the term of five years, and it's hoped there's no swapping interest rates during the first two years. Okay, so this is a five year interest rate swap, and there is no swapping in the first two years. And during the last three years, the settlement period will be one year after the will be cleared, where we'll be from the one year after the settlement Okay, so basically, since a notional amount is, is involved, that means that uh, the fixed rate side of the interest rate swap equation is going to be framed in a way that also generally makes the variable, the floating rate side of the equation equal to one. But in this case, they give us a special case where they say that the interest rate swap is occurred for two years. So what we're going to do is, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to work on the fixed rate side. So three years are occurring, right? Um, so from what we can see is that um, we don't really have to include 500,000 anyway because it is a notional amount. So uh, what we can do is set our R, right, uh, based on the three years swap rate. Plus um, R over 1.054 to the 4 plus uh, R over five six to five, and so the framework of this is that it repeats the last one again, not last factor again. That's how it goes from here. Yeah, because the last part is always like the notional amount times R plus one. That's how the equation goes. And then we set it equal to usually one, but this is the thing for two years. It's kind of like similar to the finding the market value of the swap. So what we do is we discount what is deferred by the amount of years that is deferred. So we're going to use the two years plus. Pretty much it. Now we can solve for R from here. So um, I can take this, right, and I can subtract it here. And then I can also take R out. Two 
Point zero six six 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 point zero six